What up, Sonny Boy? What's cracking, homie? How you doing, dude? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good, dog. Well, shit, man. Uh, yeah, let's jump right into it, man. I've been fucking with your lives lately, dog. I've been seeing your Instagram lives that you do. I like that. Keep keep doing that because um, I like how you tell stories and, and just, you know, one thing that happened to you that was like a 30-second incident turns into a 15-minute live, and that shit's dope, dog. I was just watching the one where you were talking about stealing on uh, the black dude um when he uh you guys were oh, in the here. county yeah yeah i was like okay that's the shit i want to hear from a man sunny dog <laughs> <laughs> well he gave me he gave me a heads up he laughed about it he was like damn homie, you cold <laughs> <laughs> well shit you know what since i brought it up dog tell the story on my show man all right i was coming into a, a south block in the county in l.a county jail and they put me in a cell full of blacks I think it was a seven man sour, eight man sour. So as soon as I coming in, I'm about to unroll my my, my bedroll. Um, the black guy tells me, you know, as soon as these doors rack, it's on. We're gonna give you a couple seconds to run out the door. You know, so you can get with your people. So he gave me the heads up, you know what I mean? Yeah. So at the I'm at the door when it's about to crack. And uh, I just when the door cracked, I dropped my bedroll and I rushed him. <laughs> yeah. I was getting mine first. Damn. And by the time it was all said and done, I was in the next door, the next cell. And um, they had us locked down, and he was like, Sonny, you cold, man. You cold. <laughs> I got to do what I got to do. He goes, I like that. Just, so that was you, good, homie. So that was good. You, you jumped on him to get pulled out of the cell, or how, how did, or are you just like, fuck it? These no, are... well, I'm at the door, right? Mm -hmm. And they're expecting me to run out the door, but instead of running out, I ran in and started getting mine. Damn. Was, <laughs> Damn, dog. I was like, you know, I have to get mine. So I just, there were seven of them in there, so I got mine. Damn, and <laughs> they if you, just didn't expect it. And if you knew this dude, like I know him, meaning Sunny Boy, he's the most chill dude. Like I would, I can't even picture that even coming out of you. The the, the amount of times you know that I've that I've kicked it with you, or you know that I've talked to you. Uh, what what type of mind state you know were you in back then? You know what I'm. I'm really like a chameleon, dog. You can put me in any situation, um, and I'm cool in that. I'm cool in any environment that you put me in. Um, I can turn in a heartbeat into somebody else. Yeah. And um, I actually had a uh, my therapist tell me she was man. I find it hard to believe some of the stuff that you've been involved in. She was but then talking to you, I know it's true. Mm -hmm. I know. I know you got that capability of switching. Mm -hmm. She goes, I just find it hard. There's not too many people like that. Mm -hmm. You know, either you're one way or another, but I have people from the system tell me, hey, you're the same way in the system as you are out here. And I've had people tell me the, the opposite. You know what I mean? You're just the same way. No matter where I'm at, I'm always the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I like the sunny boy that I see, man. You're a good dude, and, and I'm glad that you're, you're doing this. I'm glad that you're, you know what I'm saying, talking to people and – you know, I always tell people my show is not to glorify gangs. My show is to talk to OGs and veteranos like Sonny Boy, you know, who've been through it and 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 make let them make the decision. Is this a really a life, you know, what I'm saying that you want to lead and jump into. And I think by you telling your stories, homie, I think you're saving lives, dog. Uh, I appreciate that. I, I, I really do. I get a lot of. uh feedback on some things and um, the majority of it's positive. I think I've only got one negative uh, response one time and it was about something that they weren't too sure about. Mm. Um, but I, I really appreciate that dog. It yeah. means a lot to me. It's something I want to do. I hope. Yeah. And I'm not, I've never been a religious guy, but I feel like this is what you were put on earth to do. Like, straight up this is the perfect timing with youtube and and the whole true crime gang genre is, is is really popular right now i think this is what you were put on earth to do and i, I if you save I, I can guarantee you've already saved one life you know what i'm saying but if that's all it takes and and god forbid you know something happens tomorrow and you're not here anymore you know what i'm saying you 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 save somebody dog i hope so i i try honestly try to help some people and i know i've helped some people saving lives i don't know but I hope I do. You know what I mean? Because it's uh, the streets ain't got no loyalty. 
Damn, say that again. Say it louder for the people in the back, dog. (laughs) The streets have no loyalty, homie. Nope. Damn, dog. I know what it's like. I know what it's like. Like I said, I'm comfortable in anything. I'm like a comedian. Like, you can put me in a a worse crack house and I'm comfortable as hell. Mm -hmm. You can put me in a high class area, I'm comfortable as hell. Yeah. You can put me in a level four, I'm comfortable. Put me in a level two, I'm comfortable. Yeah. I am who I am. I'm not going to fake it. Yeah. No reason to. I told her I loved her. Why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me he saw the other day with the baby Ain't life crazy, I think about it once in a while When it's cloudy outside and the sun goes None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah Most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to baby, that's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, go. go Put your seatbelt on, up in the way we bout to go about The to road go. is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control Get The final destination's bound to captivate your soul And so, so, so. many MCs inspired to be yeah. One of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC yeah. Then the law came life, now your dreams deferred All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur My ponders contemplating the worst Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched That's a bitch. Paying dues upon dues Keep on telling yourself I'm making others believe in you too And it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Remind everyone out there what your your long stint was. Eight years. And what was that for again? Uh, I had thirty. I had a life term, but I overturned it. Yeah. In uh, ninety seven, I went in in ninety two, and I got out two thousand. Okay. But I had a life term. Yeah. Before we talk about that, you had another video that that I found interesting, and you called it. Uh, you called it uh, fucking up my release date. 
Do you remember oh. that one? <laughs> tell tell yeah, tell the story uh, about about what happened in, there and the and the CEO talking to you and all that shit. Okay, we were in um, uh, I was in a level two. It was about a month to the past. And um, I lived in what they call the snake pit. Everybody in that that vicinity used heroin. And that's where everybody got loaded. I was on the bottom bunk. Uh, the guy top of me used heroin. The guy beside of me used heroin. And the top of his bunk used heroin. Mm. But uh, I never used it then, guys. It's just because they were like, they were snakes. You know what I mean? They were like, not mm. the type that I really like to uh, run around with. I didn't trust them. Mm-hmm. So if I did anything, it was on my own. So anyways, uh, one day the, the heroin ran out. Uh, nothing was in there. Everybody was kicking, including myself. Oh, shit. I like a lightweight Jones. Hmm. And uh, there was this guy next to me on the upper bunk. Um, he's going through it. It's his first time that he's ever kicking. He just started using. Just started, got an addiction to it. And... Um, like an more everybody's bumping their music and their TV's loud, joking around, and uh, CEO wasn't in the mood. Her name was Barbara. She was, uh, uh, I can't give you her last name, but no, her, her first yeah. name was Barbara. So um, she wasn't in the mood that day. She told everybody, I don't want to hear your shit. If I hear any of your radios or TVs, whatever, I'm turning the power off. So this guy is next to me. He's watching his... Uh, his little novellas, and he's got his earphones on like he's supposed to. But there's a black guy across on the aisle next to us that bumping his radio. And usually when uh, Barbara said it, she didn't usually mean it, but that day she meant it. I didn't want to hear it. So when she heard it, she turned off the power. Mm. So the homie got up. He's grouchy as hell. He's sick. I'm laying on my bunk, and I'm not feeling good. Everybody's all laying on their bunks. And um, he, uh, he tells the black dude something. The black dude was the, one of those happy-go-lucky guys, got along with everybody, really respectful. Um, you didn't really think he was much of a writer. Like, you know what I mean? You know he wasn't a punk, but you didn't really think he was a writer. So uh, the homie got the office bunk. He told him something, and then the black guy responded with something. I'm not sure what he said. But uh, the homie got down and started to put his boots on. Now, anybody knows from the system, you start putting your boots on, it's on. Exactly. Yeah, I've heard that d- a dozen times on my off. show, the putting the boots on. What is it for boots versus yeah, tennis shoes? Yeah, what is shoes? it? Uh, Mexican, Mexican, Mexican with the boots. Uh, Mexican, Mexican got boots. on boots. <laughs> yeah, yeah Mexican got on boots. Mexican got on boots. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> oh, I laughed the hell when I heard that. Anyways, uh, so this black guy decides, hey, wow. Well, this dude's putting on his boots. There ain't no packing no more. So he decides to rush homie. Now, when he gets off his bunk, put his boots on, he's putting him on the bottom bunk, so he's right across from me, right next to me. And a couple other homies start walking up. You know, they're running that. Um, they got their clothes ironed, all creased up, and they're those guys. Uh, so when the black guy runs up, he runs in between all of them and goes to still on homie was to hit him when he's putting his boots on and I take flight on him. I jump up and I hit him and he kind of slides. Slides on the floor. Whew. So next thing I know, you hear all the, the, the heavy boots running on the floor. Which is, I guess they had seen it happening already. So uh, they yanked me out. They yanked the black dude out. They yanked out a couple other people and they had us separated. And as... Uh, I'm on the outside. Barbara reaches in my ear and she tells me, what the fuck are you doing? I know you're going home. What the fuck are you doing? Do you want to leave? I don't know what you're talking about. She goes, I seen you hit him. Don't act like, I don't want you to think I didn't see you. I seen you hit him. Now, I'm not going to say I seen you hit him. She goes, but if the black guy goes and says you hit him, I got no choice. Mm. Whatever. So she go he, she goes to him and says, Hey, what happened? He says, Nothing. We were arguing. Did he hit you? He goes, No. He didn't hit me. We were just arguing. And then it wasn't even with him. So I'm like, okay. 
So they release us all in, and the whole time that she's taking me back in the dorm, she's scolding me. She's literally scolding me. Mm. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know better. You shouldn't be doing this. Looking back, that's kind of dope, right? Like, she could have been an asshole and been like, fuck him, you know? But she was telling you what the fuck are you doing? I'll, I'll tell you why she did it. I know a girl that pops a perk before she brushes teeth. I know a dude that snorts coke at least twice a week. I have a friend who's married, but he still be fucking bitches. And his excuse is that his wife is always fucking bitching. I remember, hold up, sorry, I forgot to mention. I know a girl that used to cut herself to get attention. To get attention, I would always used to get detention. Getting suspended was my only life's mission. My little cousin went to jail, now he's facing life. Promised my aunt I'll look after him, but I lied. Working 60 hours a week trying to stack cheese. Ignoring texts from my family members every week. I'm a deadbeat cousin missing birthdays Promised my dad that I'd call him on Thursday But it's Saturday and I haven't hit him yet I know one day that is something that I will Slow down. Take your time and focus Sip your potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Yo, yo Yo. I write rhymes for the masses, introductory classes, bringing you up to speed, can't see, go get your glasses. We gon' mix it with the little honey jack, got the cherries at the bottom, you know I be eating that. So much going on in the world today, I think we need to slow down, chill, meditate. Let me fly in the sky like birds, I'm using my imagination to strip them with the words. So let's blow clouds, I'm sending you much love, I'm held down by gravity, my spirit is up above. Hop in the sky, take a ride with me, 485 horsepower. Me. Now we gone in the wind, dipping off in the sunset Moving at the speed of light, car looking like a jet I bet it was another who wanted to shine But I'm two steps beyond, baby, this my time Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Now it's just them chemtrails trying to take us out, man Population control, so the devil your soul For the money and the power, yeah, the ultimate goal Slow down Let that sink in, smoking on some clone guy I feel like I'm sinking in a pool full of liquor and coherent Sober up, then I do it again Check me out Determination of a tortoise with the speed of a hare I'm blowing past some seas like I blow my smoke in the air I play that skin to win this if I was on double dare And I'm always welcome back like my name was Mr. Carter Burn rubber like I burn my leaf Hard for me to slow down when my kids gotta eat I'm in the belly of the beast maneuver like Jet Li Translation man I'm quick on my feet Quick to defeat That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat What? What did he say? Can you repeat? That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Telling yes. you what the fuck he did. And I'll, I'll tell you why she did it. I'll tell you why she oh, did okay. it. Okay. So, um, everything gets quiet. We're, we're stuck on our bunks. And the black guy goes, Hey, Sonny, can I talk to you? So I got my boots on. Like, we're, we're, we were supposed to take our boots off, but I didn't take my boots off. Mm. So uh, I walk over there and, What's up? What's up? Hey, I want to apologize to you. And he basically walked out a homeboy fucking, I seen him putting on his boots, dog. I, I realized you're going home. And I me, hey, homie, you ain't going to steal on my people in front of me. He goes, yeah, I know you're going home. Because everybody knew I was going home, that I had a night turn, that I had overturned it, and that was why I was in that level two. So it was it was pretty well known that 
you know what I mean? I was, I had just did some time and I was coming home and I wasn't acting like everybody else. So, um, you could tell the difference for people that have been down for a while. So he apologized to me and I accepted the apology, he shook my hand. So he gave me a way out instead of me, because it was going to pro- pro- progress more. It still was going to go on more. It was just we were waiting for opportunity. Mm. But like I said, he gave me a way out. We talked. Now, the reason she was the way she was is um, she one day she was walking the dorm, it's a hundred man dorm. It's an army barracks mm. and a CRC, right? And she walks and the power goes off. When the power went off, it would pitch black. I don't know how she found out where I was, but I felt somebody hug me from the back. And I was like, what the F? You know what I mean? I'm thinking somebody, somebody filling up on me, you know what I mean? And she goes, it's me, Barbara. And then I go, oh shit, like I relaxed. Cause yeah. I guess you could feel like that stuff. Like, you know, what the fuck? And I'm over there grabbing her hand, like, you get off me, you ain't gonna take me to the back. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, if we wanted chon chon or something. Yeah. But it was actually her. And she told me, uh, please don't let nobody know I'm here. I'm scared. Cause she's in a female. She's a female, uh-huh. an attractive one. In a hundred man dorm in pitch dark. Okay. Damn. That's why she did what she did. Interesting. And I never, I never, um, huh. Like put her on blast like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's the only reason I think she did what she did because she said she was able to see everybody's records and she said my record wasn't like anybody else's. Interesting. Yeah, man. It must be weird being a, you know, just a CO, because we all know the prisoners run prison. It's like, it's a fake, uh, it's a fake reality that the guards are running prison. You know what I mean? So I can imagine what it's like being, you know, uh, like five guards to every, uh, what is the ratio? Like guard to it was inmate. One guard per hundred inmates. What? One guard. They could literally kill her if they wanted to, or just whatever the case. Damn, dog. Yeah, and then the dark dog, they would have, we were actually in the dark for wow. five minutes. Mm. So, you know, they would have raped her. Mm. They would have raped her. Wow. Um, so, it, it was, um, and she never, she never forgot that. Never, oh, uh, okay. You know, she, she appreciated what I did for her. Was like, That's dope. I'm man. not that type to take advantage. I like hearing shit like that. I like hearing shit like that. Um, but I want to get back to the, the whole, the little scuffle, the scuffle thing that went going on. Cause on that video, you, said that there are no one-on-ones in prison if your homie gets into a fight with someone you pretty much you all you all jump in um, what what's what's the reason okay. and everything behind that okay there's a couple things when you run in prison you run with your people for a reason the reason you run with your people and only your people is because it's less Less chance of a riot jumping off because two idiots got into it. Mm-hmm. So okay, so there being no no one on ones, we got to say that come, at least from LA County Jail, and you learn that all the way into the prison system is you want to beam, you have to take the whole burrito. There is no one on ones. Hmm. There is no other race to check our race. If the if a white boy has a problem with the Mexican. He's supposed to bring it up to somebody, and then we will make that determination whether ah. he got something coming or not. Okay. And that goes for any race that that comes and approaches us. But there'll never be a time, or never, never is it okay for another race to check one of ours. Hmm. And that includes hmm. checking a paisa. That includes checking uh, anything. If you're brown, we, we're supposed to have your back. Interesting. Okay. Damn. Do you know if? Blacks live by that same code in prison. Um, they don't really have that code, but they practice it. Okay. You're not gonna rush a black, and the other blacks aren't gonna jump in because they already know what the rules are with us. Mm-hmm. So it's not like 
they have much of a choice. Mm. They know if we rush one black, we're going to rush them all. Oh, a colony is coming. But it's from Venus. And if you're still alive, I think you'll see how we differ. And I agree with you about what they call music. I'm at a crossroads every damn day Looking back in my past when I sleep But living on the edge now I'm doing enough Iniquity down to my feet What do I do when I need a little food And I gotta get the money for the rent Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord Come on son, he can give me some money, repent What, what, thank you I really love you baby so I spank you Life is a west straight fucking you up Living in a prison, I'ma shank you so what's love got to do when you win it with my heart on my sleeve on my bow? But she said she loved me, she wanted to hug me under my sheets, so it's getting told. I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight, baby, ignore the rain. And everything gonna be okay. And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline and I'll be biding my time. Till I can ride the wave. Then everything gonna be okay. Yeah. What are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving tonight. Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage. Cause what can we do? While Rome is collapsing. But not in a day, we'll be okay. Let's hit the Amalfia Jackson. I'll pull up the map then, cause I'm through keeping up with these Joneses. Don't care what they're posting. You know, you only see what they show you. Let's fall off the grid then, cause we don't owe nothing to no one. Darling, just listen, it'll be just like starting over. I spy with my little mind's eye. Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight, baby. Ignore the rain. And everything gonna be okay. While the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gonna be okay I don't even know why I'm here Wanna be on a beach somewhere Feet kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely My girl is by my side My gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Filling out the window, is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there Bang, bang And I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gonna be okay while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gonna be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottle of the night, I get the job done Celebrating life, I've bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce, swing your memory Every time I blaze a tree, voices in my head Keep on urging me, tell them about the story Hey, they came from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Got you moving and grooving to a kind of time of state Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride and listening to for the night As long as you recognize the eyes in the sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gonna be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gonna be okay What would you say is the main difference between black gangs and Latino gangs? If there is even one. There's repercussions for our acts, for things that we do, there's repercussions if you're in the wrong. 
for the blacks, there's not a repercussion. They don't have to answer to anybody. We have to answer to somebody. We got we can't just run around and do what we want because it puts everybody at jeopardy. Mm. And because as one, we're all in one unit. Whether the blacks is not one unit, it's multiple units. Like they might have like one black that shot calls for a couple couple of his homies or from his neighborhood, but that's as far as it goes. There's no one set black that like you can go to and square everything away with. Hmm. Interesting. So the structure is different. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let me ask you, um, can you talk about, you know, not into detail, obviously, you know where to, to draw the line, but can you talk about the stabbing while you were locked up that got another year tacked on to your 15-year sentence? Or do I have the story? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I can talk about, partly about it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Something started in a different facility. And it went into our facility. So it just happened to be in the dorm that I was in. Um, so we ended up riding with them, getting them, going out of with them, fighting with them. And um, I got hit with the knife in the neck. Mm. But the knife that they used was a spoon that had sharpened down mm-hmm. and it broke. So it left me a welt on my neck. I was pissed. I was pissed off. I put um, two of my knuckles were down to the bone from hitting people. I had split my knuckles all the way down to the bone. You could actually see the bone. So I was pissed. I was pissed. We got out. We were outnumbered, outgunned. We were just all the way around. We caught we caught the short end of the stick. They they fucked us up. Mm. So we went to a neighboring, uh, a different uh, module, and I told the homie, "Hey, check it out, dog. I'm not done. I'm getting mine. Either you ride or you, you know deal with the consequences later. But I'm gonna get mine. I'm giving you a heads up right now." So um, when the, the dorm I had told this black dude, I heard seen him. I I kind of seen him making the shame. And I told him, if some shit jumps off, I'm mean, you'll be the first one on the hit. I'm telling you right now. And he was in that dorm. And I was there. I had just came, but I had mine. So um, when uh, I went into his section and we had words and I stuck him. And then mm. when I hit him, I hit him in the neck. He turned around and... Uh, I, it wasn't that serious. I got him, but I didn't get him where I wanted to. And uh, he went outside. They cuffed him. He was bleeding. They were covering up his neck. And he turned around and told him, hey, that guy right there is the one to stab me. Damn. I was like, what? Off top like that, huh? In front of everybody. Huh. They didn't give a rat's ass. He's the one to stab me. So on the counter, they gave me a year. Hmm. Because I already had life. And a lot of people don't understand is uh, when you're in the county and you get into some shit, they just want they just want to take you to New Hall and give you your fucking uh, time real quick and you're gone. As quick as possible, they want you in and out. So they'll just give you the quick first deal. So since I had life already and they were like, um, we're going to give you another year. Okay, whatever. But it's going to run bow-legged, which means it's going to be consecutive. It's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be run together. It's going to be you're going to do your time, then you got another year to go. That's what screwed up my parole date, or mm. I would have got out sooner. Mm. Damn. For us to recognize that our nations have worked together for security and peace and human dignity around the world. In Paris, the most ambitious agreement in history to fight climate change, a new sustainable development set of goals to end extreme poverty, to the American companies health sparking and education. a debate across this country tonight. For all a business in Wisconsin implanting microchips in its employees in the skin of their hands. So what are they tracking and will you say yes if you're the same?
Just give me a little bit of peace a Steady job and some food to eat I had to rush out of my bed Cause I was late for work My motherfucking rent is due And my boss is a jerk Pencil pushing at the job An intermediate clerk My mama told me to go to school I'm going bananas berserk I work every day Don't know where the money goes My girl is big and pregnant Want me to paint her toes Only a high school diploma I'm smelling the aroma The greenery is burning in my room but life is a mama seat. She glad to meet ya. She back coming soon. <laughs> Better get the broom, my nigga. You clean up your house. She got a little more time to back out, cause she ain't your spouse. But do I love her? I need her. Maybe respect how I treat her. But when I see my baby, I'ma wanna go and feed her. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food. I was born in a space and time where people were stupid Everybody looking for love, fucking with Cupid Who did whatever they wanted to do with black fist up Stand to opposition, keeping Hennessy in a cup Drink, nigga tell me what you think about God The Bible is written by man, some people think of a side Form your own opinion before you listen to white men The system has got you on American bandstand And when you get home, you gotta look in the mirror Take off all the makeup and the wig is more clear I fear a day when I can't smoke my weed I drank my drink, my nigga you know what I need But success is a motherfucker, shoes to feel I got a baby at home, I need them big time deals This shit just got real, it's going down tonight Somebody gonna get jacked, hope they don't put up a fight Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Blow that smoke right out your lungs You go to church every Friday Now you're speaking in tongues You gave up chilling with friends Pastor got a bands Repenting on your knees Confessing on all your sins to the end How far will it go Why you naked boy He eating all your candy Tasting your almond joy Troy I can help you Let me take you to outer space If you're looking for God Meditate to the perfect place Race We moving at the speed of light Traveling fast through a black hole Into my days and night I'm trying to fight against the norm My eyes are open you see Cause I can only be me Not what you want me to be Classy Nigga born in the 77 Daddy named Orlando, my name Kevin, Lucille, my mama, the girl true raised me, Kevin and Delilah, they having a baby, just give me a little bit of peace, steady job and some food to eat, just give me a little bit of peace, steady job and some food to eat, just give me a little bit of peace, steady job and some food to eat, just give me a little bit of peace, steady job and some food to eat. Let me ask you, because I was watching a Vlad TV interview. I can't rem remember who specifically said this, but he said that Latino gangs, you know, locked up in prison, they'll, they'll snitch on the opposite side, you know, just to... Um... That was... Uh, 
BG knockout? Was it BG? Okay, there you go. And I know he got a lot of flack for that. Yeah, we That's... actually talked about it on the show. Oh, okay. Um, the best thing I could say about that is BG knockout had a problem with Rasa. Either he got hurt, he got rushed, he got stabbed, something. Because anybody that's been in the system knows that we will do our own just as quick as anybody else. So if you're ratty, it doesn't matter who you're ratty now. If you dry snitch, and a lot of people don't even understand what dry snitch is. It's like, uh, like I was telling one of my stories, and somebody had taken something from me, and they wanted me to get up on the table and tell everybody, well, whoever took my shit, F you. To me, that's dry system because the cop would have seen it. And I would have got dealt with. Huh. We don't, we're not allowed to say anything. I don't know where they get that from those books, but I think it's just a personal vendetta with the, the guy, uh, BG Knockout, because that's not our program. That's not how we do it. If anything else, we're the most stringent on rats and informants. They're the ones that catch the worst when it comes to us. More than any other race. Yeah, that was a very controversial comment. When, when you heard that, I'm assuming it didn't sit well. Oh, I was pissed. Because it's like, we spent all our... Well, I know I spent my whole time trying trying to make a point. That's all you really do in jail. And that's all you can do in jail is make a point and, and preserve your image. That's all you basically got in prison or in jail or in the system at all. That's all you got is your image. And for somebody to just walk up and blatantly lie about something like that, it's just like, hey, wait a minute. It's like, you know, even even our worst enemies, which was the Northerners, would tell you that that's not our get down. That's not how Southsiders do that. Southsiders will hold their money and if they don't, they're going to get dealt with. Mm. So BG Knockout ain't got no love coming from me. I don't even listen to music no more. <laughs> mm. Hey. I, I, yeah, Let, let's move on. That sounds like a very touchy subject, and I don't want to get too much deeper into it. But I would like to, <laughs> I would like to keep it you know, on the Hollywood aspect. You know of things i guess okay. for for you know whatever for lack of better words but you know you doing you know so much time in in jails and prisons and things like that what would you say is the most realistic prison slash gang movie that you've ever seen that's <laughs> one of the easiest questions i've ever had go for it it's called the felon the felon f-e-l-o-n okay with val kilmer Okay. Now it's about a white dude, and it's about a white gangs. But that movie was so realistic that it takes you through the emotions of what you go through in jail. Hmm. It actually takes you through the emotions. I don't know who directed it or whoever directed it. He 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 did a hell of a job, dude. And then he's the same one I think that did a uh, shot caller. With but the Jamaican movie? The fact the felon, huh? The Jamaican movie Shot Caller? Or do they I made a movie one? called Shot Caller. Oh, okay, okay. Go ahead, keep going, keep going. Okay. But the one with uh, the Fallon without Kilmer was one of the most realistic movies I've probably ever seen. Hmm. It, it, it took me through back into time when I was barely going in the system of what I had dealt with with my emotions and everything. Mm. on how everything went from how how I had to deal with my wife, how I had to deal with my kids, how I had to deal with the, mm. the bills, um, the violence and everything. You know, it takes you through everything. Um, mm. um, what goes through your head? Um, that movie is, that movie is uh, probably the most realistic prison movie I've ever seen. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I just... I knew from day one, you know, off top, I wasn't made for prison, so I, I, I limited my my, you know, street life to shit that would just get me, you know, thirty days in county. <laughs> 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 but, 
But, uh, I wish I would have did that. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm not um, made for prison either. Man, fuck. I don't think anyone is. We're not. We're not animals, dog. And that's and, and it, it, it it kind of turns, you know, people into animals. I'm 45 years old. I'm 45 and I'm 31. And I'm fine. And you the older generation than me. And I am too. And we've been standing but around as the something. older ones taking all this bullshit. Always hoping for a cool by fucking job. Always standing around for a food by y'all. Ain't nobody coming to protect us. We gotta start our own fucking life. It's like the message has been lost. How much money does a black life cost? Every time we kill another brother, we keep them people employed who profit when we kill another. How can we make a change instead of pointing at others for the blame? Shit, let's put some gasoline on the flame and burn this bitch down if they don't hear what we saying. Better be strapped for the peace. They talking about defunding police. Gun stores sold out for six weeks. I'm smelling something in the air and it reeks. Black lives matter all the time Not just when one of them kills one of our kind Cause I don't ever see Al Sharpton speaking When Chicago has 30 murders in one week I mean, yeah. we gonna lose. Hey, hey, what we gonna do? You tell me what we gonna but do this ain't the way Cause they ready to let loose How many ever we gonna lose? United States, Canada, 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 Come on Hey, hey, hey. Pay attention, maybe slow down and just listen It's my state of mind, I'm dreaming, I'm on a mission Trying to push the world for peace, no more hate I got my black fist up in the corner to demonstrate Let's get it straight this time Movement is all over the world, energy divine Where were you when the revolution got started? Black people fed up, more than dearly departed We all living on this earth, we human, nobody rally Marching in units in George Floyd, chanting loudly how many brothers have to die? We already realize equality's a lie. I'm trying to get it by any means that be necessary. Red and blue lights flashing behind me can't be very scary. I see the police before they see me. Get out the car, roll the ground down on your knees. Please. The pigmentation of my skin, this current situation Got me feeling like the revolution's about to begin On the different type of vibes, so many ready for change Fist in the atmosphere, sick and tired of the games Being played by these slain, ain't no fucks given Only justification does I fit the description Trapped in the system, just another digit In a private prison, trying to keep the optimism It's tearing me to the core, how many more we gon' lose? We got the right to live a life without you and me, know what we do Enlighten the youth, feed the knowledge, give them tools Running the race, coming out of my shoe, taking it all the way back to my room it's a different time, we ain't going forward You see this power in numbers, keep on ignoring You see us coming together, together we growing They feel the change that's coming, you better know I'm in here at 31 Ain't nobody coming to protect us Ain't nobody coming to protect us Someone mentioned on one of my prog- on my, one of my shows that when you go to jail and you're you're in the gang life, in, in prison specifically, like you're almost forced to be quote racist. You know, you off top just have to hate black people or or vice versa. You, you're off top. You have to hate Latinos. Is that is that is that true? Safe to say? No, not necessarily. Let me let me. I got to take you back into my story. Okay. When I was a kid, uh, my dad had a friend. His best friend lived in Compton. He was probably the only Mexican family in Compton at the time. Some older black kids um, 
stole our, ba- our, our beach ball that we were playing with. Basically punked us. I asked them for the ball back. They disrespected me. So I called them the N-word. I'm a little kid. Right. They went my ass. And I thought I had like, I had like 30 cousins that they were thinking I was badass. Hey, I left. So I got my ass kicked. So I had a, I, I'm, I'm a vengeful person. I remember things. Mm. I, I remember things from back in high school that I hate somebody. Else. I, I'm just like that. I'm built like that where I just, I, I, I don't forget things like that. So when I hit the county, it was, for me, it was racial. Mm. It was me that hated. Mm. It was me that, that, you had to prove yourself in order for me to give you respect. Mm. It's different now, okay? Mind yeah, you, it's course. completely yeah, yeah. different now. But back then, that's my mentality. So I was game for that. You want to be, you got to take the whole burrito game. I was mm. me. I was cool with it. But there's a lot of homies that have a lot of love for blacks in there because they grew up together with them. Mm-hmm. But they have to prove a line. They have to be on a line siding with us because like I told you, the less interaction we would have with the black, the less chances of a riot jumping on. Hmm. Gotcha. That's what it is. Someone it's not saying a really the wrong thing. Someone thing. saying the wrong thing, like someone stepping on somebody's something simple like that, right? Yeah, you could tell somebody whatever and it actually know it's costing somebody their life. Hmm. Damn man. Let me ask you, um, I asked this question to your co-host, Gil, American Cholo for everybody out there on YouTube, American Cholo, Gil, and Sonny Boy are a fucking dope-ass show. You definitely got to check it out. If you don't already know about it, American Cholo. But um, I asked this question to your co-host, Gil, in our last interview, and I'd like to ask you the same question, keeping it kind of in the Hollywood, you know, type of type of vibe we're, we're, we're doing right now. Um, but what are your thoughts on rappers like YG and oh, fuck, I forgot his name. Um, Blueface. Blueface. Yeah, who do songs like "Que Loco" and um, "Canasada" and and stuff like that. Do you think they're making a mockery, or do you think they're paying homage to the Latino culture? No way in how are they paying homage? That was blatant disrespect and, and, and let me explain this um those rappers have a hundred different raps stashed away like most rappers they have you know rap after rap after rap just put away mm-hmm. what would make them single out a certain race other than hate Hmm. there's no I don't see any other way of putting it they they um, there's so much to rap about so much of, why would you rap about carne asada why would you rap about ochata why what was the purpose of it it yeah. doesn't have no purpose to it other than to piss somebody off flip it around get their clown on flip it around clown on. flip it around and if it were yeah you know a Mexican like if I was a black... watermelon and grape soda yeah <laughs> Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, dog, it would be a war. Yeah, exactly. Oh, dude, fucking N- uh, NWA. I mean, fucking, uh, what's the Black Lives Matter will be knocking at your door. I mean, it would be, uh, you ch- yeah. yeah you there would ch- be no purpose for me to do that unless I wanted to get my count on. Mm. Hmm. And that's what it was. They just wanted to get their crown. Maybe they thought it was harmless clowning, but just the same, it was clowning. Hmm. We have a lot of people that, that, that busted their ass, that illegal immigrants, the immigrants to, to people that were born here, that are trying to change that that stereotype that, that everybody looks at us as. Mm. And then you got some, some guy from a different race sitting there making fun of it. It's just not right. Well, that's my, that's my personal feeling. Yeah. Gotta be careful what you put out there nowadays, cause you know you may think you're paying homage, and and my and from an outsider looking in, I feel like they're just so 
dumb and probably pumped full of drugs that they legit probably thought that that they're paying homage to to the culture but at the end of the day nah it ain't flip it around and you wouldn't like it if they you know some some mexican dudes in monkey suits were throwing watermelons at each other and and you know throwing grape soda and drinking you know it's think about it yeah you do well you, you know you know me already does of course i don't don't look at things as racial if i get stopped by a cop i'm not looking at it as racial mm-hmm. if i get some black guy mad dog me i'm not looking at it racial it's a whole different, it's like on a personal level. Hey, they saw me for this. A black guy must know me for somebody for something I said or something I did or know me from the system. It's not about a race to me. I'm not one of those guys that use that uh, excuse as a cop out for racial incidents. Mm-hmm. I was personal. Or... So, so for me to even acknowledge that those songs were racial is a big step for me. And that's what I love about you and Gil is you guys, that's one thing I love about American Cholo on YouTube. Make sure you guys follow American Cholo. That's what I love about both of you guys. And I know both of these dudes personally, so it, it's not a front. It's not a, a, a gig that they're putting on. But both of these dudes, they're not sheep. Like, I, you guys aren't sheep. You know what I'm saying? Um, I see yeah. you guys aren't afraid to go against the grain. And I was reading something that Gil posted today and there were people telling him you're not a real cholo i'm unfollowing you i'm like are you fucking serious it's a legit <laughs> it's a legit point dude is making he was talking about how not how to act and not to act when you're pulled over or fucked up by a cop or some shit like that and it was a legit point yeah he was he was expressing how in 9 11 cops were running into the building to save lives and now all of a sudden they're the demons of the world right You're not even wet. Wet? What's wet? What do you mean, what's wet? You landed in the river, but your clothes are all dry. Illusion, that's all. Just an illusion. Like that jukebox playing in the corner. That's an illusion, too. Who's really ready to get this shit poppin'? Stay the bond in this motherfucker, we not stopping. Lock in the game ahead of our time, but that was 20 years ago, we still killing the rhyme. It's the reunion, unification of the dopest singers. I still throw it up and I'm still making the singers. I'm a grown ass man with a lot to live for. Barefoot, walking on the sand and seashore. Chilling, living my life to find a better way. Overlooking the ocean before retirement day. And I'ma get it because I'm different, not like you. Mamba mentality told me to do it. I do creativity, I'm a Libra, I balance the scales, giving my gift to the world like show and tell, but don't well, I'm a package and maybe you will buy it, just give it one verse when you listen, I'm, I'm trying to make it different, I don't know why I do what I do, I just don't want to be like you, I just don't want to be like you, I'm a little bit different, cause the sky ain't always blue, and the moon ain't always new, Wake up in bed, third eye wide open, open. other two eyes cloudy yeah. Cause of all night, smoking on some clone guy fire yeah. Got me higher than a UFO, breathe through your nose, hold that smoke, relax, exhale slow Down the rabbit hole we go, never searching for the tricks Fresh come out that night from what they say and they legit Experience, seize the moment, opportunist I make love to the pressure, but I go all in and cease to exist Don't get me pissed, your whole style gets drowned in the abyss Can't ride my wave, I leave you in a brush, do rack list Swim with the fishes, can't find your body, no reminiscing Now you're wishing, you never fuck with the birth of never ending Lesson learned, I'm on your head, lace front burn Pass through your skin, now you addicted, nigga derm Never ever cross the line, you will get burned Just sit back, take notes and wait your turn I'm a little bit different Lights out, I be all in my feels, melting in the mic couch in another time zone in somebody else's house in the twilight zone. Where the street 
And the tambourine man tells me about his whole plan Clouds turning into sand, oceans turning into land There's a gun in my hand and a penny in my pocket And I don't even know if I'ma make it to the rocket Cause they just counted down in the at three now So I'm running through the clouds with my luggage and my bible And a smile on my face cause I'm in another place Where the turtle wins the race and he throws it in your face I don't give two fucks about it, yeah you know I'm about it About it, shit subscribe to the newspaper, read all about it Shit, read the whole book cause the cover's kinda plain I'm a little messed up if you know what I'm saying I'm a little bit different I don't know why I do what I do I just don't wanna be like you I just don't wanna be like you I'm a little bit different Cause the sky ain't always blue And the moon ain't always new And the sun ain't always cool I'm a little bit different Beginning to colonize my friends will be arriving very shortly. I think they're going to like it here. It's a lovely area. So... So remote, so pleasant, so off the beaten track. Just the perfect spot for a colony, don't you think, Mr. Haley? Let me ask you, off top, in your opinion, because cops are the big issue right now, and you've been around cops, you've been around COs, you've been around sheriffs, you've been, if anybody's been around law enforcement, it's been my boy, Sonny Boy. In your yeah. opinion, you know, because it, it doesn't matter what anybody says, it, I feel like you have the sole opinion. Do you in your heart believe that most cops are good or most cops are bad? I don't think I could put it on most cops are good or most cops are bad. I think all cops are human okay. and it depends on what situation you catch a cop in or what kind of day he had or if something happened to his family. I think that determines on what's going to happen. Um, there are some bad cops and I will say there are some bad cops just through and through. They're all about, um, I think they were like victims back in the day, and this is just a, this is a run back. This is a way of them getting back for all the the hardship that they had growing up. Mm -hmm. But there are some good cops out there that are really go out of the way to help you. Like but Barbara, shout time, out to Barbara. They have bad days. Excuse me. Shout out to Barbara. Yeah, shout out to Barbara. <laughs> There's uh the three cops that that were involved in my arrest when I went to prison. Um, there's three detectives. One was Mexican and two were Jewish. Mm. Those cops are demons. All they cared about was arrest, um, getting acknowledgement for those arrests. They said they didn't care who, who they, they stepped on to get into the position that they wanted to get in. Those three cops were just horrible. And I've seen other cops that, um, man, they, you know, had a right to, to be a little pissed off, but, you know, they were professional about it. Now our cops are bad. I just mm -hmm. think they're human. I think they yeah. have their emotions. It's like all rest of us. Some days we wake up, we're not in a good mood. Don't fuck with me today. Mm -hmm. But they don't have that, that, um, they don't have that where they can say, oh, don't fuck with me today because they're dealing with people every day. And, and I'll tell you right now, some of the guys that that I've done time with or I know that are running illegal shit, man, I'd probably fucking shoot them myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Be honest, be honest. You're going to be trying to run game and shit. I'm, man, I'm a, but I'm not, I'm not um, like saying I'm pro-cops. I'm not saying I'm against cops. I'm just... I just think they're human. And I like that. You're human. Some of them don't need to believe. Uh, some of them don't need to be in that position at that area. Yeah. That we can both agree on for sure, dog. I think they need more training, but that's a whole other situation, and we got to wrap it up for the That's night. what I think they need. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think they need. They need to be retrained because um, they're too quick on the gun. Yeah, yeah. Everything's too quick on the gun, and they need to be retrained. Yeah. and, and see, we got to look at it. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, there was there were my daughter was taking a class last year in school. She mm -hmm. goes to college. And one of these was civil unrest or some something like that. And um 
she was showing him in the video where there's this black guy sitting in the car. He's got his camera on. He's sitting in a really rich neighborhood. The car's kind of beat up. And a cop walks up on him. A Mexican cop walks up on him and asks him, what are you doing here? And um, right away, the black guy is like, uh, I'm unarmed. Um, and, and tries to take uh, control of the situation right off the bat. Cops are meant, they're, they're taught to take control of the situation. But this guy was enticing the cop on purpose. Mm. So had this big discussion in her class about it. And my daughter came, you know, dad, this is messed up. This is racism. This is what happened. And she's showing me. And I go, did you realize yourself why that guy had the camera? Why was he sitting in that area? She started to think about it. She was he she he did that on purpose. Mm. Yeah, he did it on purpose. Mm. But people forget that, you know, sometimes you got to look at the whole picture, not just what you see, because there's stuff that leads up to that. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying all cops are right by any means. I'm not saying right. I've been on the, I've been on the bad end of a cop but having a bad day. Dig deeper into the story. You know what I mean? Don't just read the headline and, and get all riled up, you know, by innocent in black the- man shot in the back. Seven, no, what what led up to that? You know what I'm saying? And that's cool that and you're, another you're teaching thing, kids that. And then another thing, we got Floyd that got killed. Man shouldn't have died. Mm-hmm. At least not the way right. he did. Right, I 100% agree. Everybody could agree with that. Right, everybody can agree with this. Not some of these but other idiots. It's dead of the media saying a white cop put his knee to a man for nine minutes and killed him, a black man. Why couldn't they say officer? Kills a citizen. Oh, because it sells more. It gets everybody riled up. Let's burn the city right. down, baby. And that's exactly right. the case right there. We're all, in that sense, uh, most of us sadly are puppets. And that's exactly why we have what we have right now. Dude, Sonny Boy, right. um, we got to wrap it up, man. But next time we do this, because we are going to do a part three, man, you're going to be a consistent uh, guest on my show, and I hope to come on American Cholo soon. But next time we do this in November, man, I'm going to bring you into the studio. I think by then, you know, after the election, nobody's going to give a fuck about COVID. So we're going to bring you into the studio, and we'll, we'll, we'll do this face-to-face. I'll bring you and Gil in, and we'll chill. We'll smoke a little bit, drink, and, and have a good time. Where can uh, everybody find you and American Cholo? American Cholo on YouTube and uh, Sunny American Cholo on IG. And hopefully soon uh, some more platforms because we're working on that now. Yeah, yeah. These dudes are dope, man. Like, real talk, it's it's legit. And I love how they both came together. They were enemies at one time in the street. You know, 30 years ago, they would have both killed each other. But now they're doing a podcast together, and it's a dope-ass podcast. I encourage everybody out there to check it out. American Cholo on YouTube. Sonny Boy, I'll talk to you soon, honey. I appreciate everything for you, Dusty. Thank you. I really appreciate you having me on. All my respects, and uh, I enjoy your your show very much. Thank you, You I'm always watching. Likewise, homeboy. Stay stay up, homie. Talk to you soon. All right. Peace, man. Yeah, buddy, Dre Day. Mary Jane Moonshine, baby. Mary Jane Moonshine. My boy Super Cuz from Stockton, East Coast Crip. He is going the legit route, Hell doing yeah. his thing, man. This shit is dope. Dre Day's already almost done with you his. How, you see how much I... No, no. Look, look how much I drank, <laughs> and I'm feeling it, man. Yeah, man. I, I'm scared to drink the rest because I got to go to work tomorrow. I love it. He has Paradise Punch. He has Jolly Apple. He has Cali Colada. He has Sea Walk, which is my favorite S E A Walk because he's a crib. Get it? Ha ha. And I already said Jolly Apple. But yes, everybody check him out. Mary Mom. Jane Moonshine. I got the straw. I got the strawberry uh, breeze. Yeah, that one's bomb. But uh, I, I, like I said, I'm gonna wait till the weekend before I really hit the, hit, the, hit, <laughs> yep. hit, the, hit the hit the bottle. Throw it on some ice, and it's fucking lovely. Make sure you shake it up first. Throw it on some ice is fucking beautiful. Yep. Thank you guys for checking out the show every Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific, right here on Super Audio Network. Make sure you guys check out all the other shows we have Monday through Sunday. I'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.